Witam bardzo serdecznie YouTube'a, odpalone nagrywanko Zaczynamy Night City Wire Jazda Zawiesiło się O, o Jednak nie A w że nagrywane na ulty Moja ulubiona prezenterka Level designer, ok. Then before we finish today's episode, we're going to give you a look at some of the incredible finalists in our PC case modding contest. Oh, kurde, ale fajne. Information that our PC players have been waiting to hear. So let's get started. It's time to take you on a tour of Night City. Maja, zostaw informację. Co to jest? To był, to był komputer tak zmodowany. Zostaw informację na tym, na Discordzie, że się zapęło. Zapraszam. Postcards from Night City. Oh my god, Juanita here. Today's news is Nova Max. Hi Vin. New to Night City? It's not so bad here. How we feeling today? Because I feel amazing. The food. The tie on 7 and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Our home. Our pride. And as always, your business is my business. I think this is your role. Trochę może i czuć, ale nie aż tak moim zdaniem. Rubik mordo, idziemy dalej. No hell, co oni teraz pokazują, ja się pytam. Endless possibilities and endless lies. We are fucked, America. And I don't know how we're gonna fix it. The homeless population in Night City has risen by 300 percent. Crime in Night City is now double the rate than in the new United States. Go away, Bobby. Think the pani. Think the pani. Maya, think the pani is pracy, Maya. Hey, Maya. No, no, I'm not gonna think the pani. That's a fight this city won't let you win. On your own, you're fucked. Oh, that Keanu Reeves. And. Well, on that note, that's it for today's info flash. Co tak naprawdę dużo więcej mapy pokazali? The grass ain't greener anywhere else. Może wreszcie on zrobi bilans. Night City. What does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who was Richard Knight? How many stations are in the NCAR system? Which city district boasts the best burrito in town? The answers to these questions and more can be found at the address at the bottom of your screen. Check it out and fall in love with Night City all over again. Night City love. Dobra, pyrka też potrafi być ładna moja. O, cyberpunk. No, data bez zmian. Well, since Night City is one of our stars of this episode, there is actually quite a lot to talk about. So let's start at the beginning. How did Night City come to be? Because yes, it exists in the world of the tabletop, but how do you take that and make what we've got now? Well, yeah, as you can imagine, making a city that is as big and complex as Night City is, is quite the ambitious project. First off, we sat down and we were really considering what is it that we wanted to do with Night City. In a way, Night City is the star of Cyberpunk, right? It is one of its main characters. We wanted to make a city that is very, very believable, right? I mean, the word immersion gets thrown around a lot, but really, we wanted you to be able to dive into it and feel like this is a real place. And then secondly, we also wanted to provide enough variety between districts so that exploring Night City would always be fun. 
right? There's no point in making a city that is all all sameish and you know it doesn't really matter where you go because once you've been Wy widzieliście kiedykolwiek taką jakość na Twitchu jak jest tutaj? First off, started taking a look at the real life geography that Night City is located on and that hmm, would be on the coast of California. Tak. Knowing that Night City would Taką jakość obrazu na Twitchu gdzieś indziej widziałeś? Inside into what we would no pewnie, wszystko, oni mają po prostu wszystko full HD i tyle. No nie no, ale to jest, wiesz, ci streamerzy stopki też mają takie. Dobry internet, dobry komputer i jazda. Zazwyczaj widać ten rozjazd w bitrate, ale tutaj naprawdę nie ma pikselozy. Wiesz, pytanie, czy oni to streamują? Może odtwarzają, bo to też jest różnica. Od... Streamują plik wideo. No, to jeszcze streamują wideo. To tak wygląda, ale... Mam zamiar zmienić tytuł, a jaki jest? This process, I think, has resulted in a city that is feels quite alive, has a lot of character, where each district feels like its own distinct zone without feeling separated from the larger picture, and that results in something that allows you to easily navigate even the complex concrete jungles of Night City simply by looking around and always having a rough idea where you actually are. But Night City is clearly so different from anything we've ever created with The Witcher. Can you give us some idea about, or some insight into just how big and like how densely packed Night City really is? Yes. Um. So, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that Night City is easily the most complex thing that I or the others have worked on. The city is super organic, right? It's not like a chessboard layout, but the the layout of the city is crazy. And you can tell that it Czyli grew in phases, right? Where buildings have been built on top of each other. Postać? And uh, I guess the mega buildings no, tak are a great part of this. Um, you'll actually see that they are located on a, some kind of pillar, you know, and then expand outside and then up, up <laughs> high into the sky. And underneath it, you'll have space for no, to nie źle. This yields a lot of interesting experiences when it comes to exploration and that's the one thing I'm most excited about for players to experience. We've been saying that our exploration is super vertical, right? What this really means is that it changes the way you explore the city. Compared to our previous games, you won't be able to easily set out on a target in the distance, right? You won't be able to say, oh, there's a castle on a hill over there, I'll try to get there and then you'll be lost in the way. But here it's much more intimate, much more moment to moment. You might be roaming the cities and um, get a call by your fixer who informs you about a job nearby that you might be able to do, right? Or you find an alleyway and you walk down one of the many, many alleyways that the city has to offer and it's always a surprise. You don't know if you might stumble upon some gangers hanging out that are up to no good. Sometimes, and these are the moments that I often get surprised with, you even stumble upon the odd elevator that is meant to connect parts of the, you know, different layers of the city. And it's quite astonishing sometimes to see where you come out when you enter one of these and, you know, find that, oh, this is actually how it connects to the world. That's crazy. And now I'm here and now I know there's a shortcut that I can take. And again, this all serves to really enhance this sense of wonder that we all come to love from open world games. And the whole city is built to cater to that. I mean, you guys have really brought Night City to life, and I really want to make a point of that. It is a living, breathing city. So as a level designer, can you give us some insight into those little touches that you guys have made? Because I hear you guys have even been placing rubbish by hand. Oh yes, um, we've been placing quite a bit of rubbish, and that's certainly one of the more glorious parts of being a level designer or an environment artist, where you get to litter the streets Jak po chińsku, po polsku gada przecie. With the garbage. But it's details such as this that um, we find really important. O kurczę, ale złożyłeś tam aszkę. On bije potężnie. Jak z karabinu strzelam. 
stop down for a minute and take a look at your surroundings um, that we have so lovingly created and try to see if there maybe isn't something that you can be a little detective for. Now, one other thing that I think is really cool is also the fact that we have changed every single street in the city. So, not only is it easy to communicate their locations or the locations they want you to visit by sort of referring to the street names, but also the fact that we have changed every single street in the city. So, not only is it easy to communicate their locations or the locations they want you to visit by sort of referring to the street names, but also you will be able to talk to your friends about it in that way, right? Have you been to Poplar Street in Japantown, for example? Um, yeah, my own category of I think film. this is a small detail, but the philosophy that we have with these kind of things is that, you know, many, many small things contribute to the sum of it, which is hopefully Boże, that you will be able to explore a city that you feel is truly alive and uh, that you haven't been experiencing before. Uh, well, Miles, thank you so much for giving us your insight. I suppose when the game launches, you could be an official Night City tour guide instead, right? I might be, yeah. You know, uh, if this game dev thing doesn't work out for me, I might might retire and become a tour guide in Night City. Don't forget that if you are tuning in late or if you just want to watch anything again, we will be uploading everything to our channels soon. Now. From the Sixth Street to the Valentinos, it's time to introduce you to the gangs of Night City. Gangs of Night City, yes. Jak koniec? No co ty lokacje? Teraz będą gangi. Gangs of Night City. You know how things work in Night City. Oh, oh, oh! Jakaś nowa kadrzenka. Stronger survive, but that's how things stand. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Ale ładnie. Then C ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count. Map and I'm going to focus on Maelstrom, depending on the season. One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes for shits and giggles. Crumb sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun. Big Maelstrom never forgets. Never. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. Valentinos. We started out together in the Valentinos. No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. A little bit of class, ah. Co to za auto z termakołami z przodu? Lately, the Valentinos and Sixth Street have had a bigger bone to pick. Sixth Street. Why'd they want to wipe you? I don't can't fucking stand Tinos. I've dealt with Sixth Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before Sixth Street shows up. Shot, shot, shot! Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh, hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all. Ooh la la. It's time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from voodoo. the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. We just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I voodoo see boys. Always. For them, Pacifica is just Haiti 2.0. Their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf. Our home until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals Animal. are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker star. Ooh. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscles. Yeah, keep bitchy. No, oh, to Baba. I fuck you over. You fuck the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now. My husband's new Westbrook is very talk? high in the Tiger Claws. Tiger they claws, did what okay. made the best eddies. Sword sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers. They run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. I gotta do something. Shut the fuck up. The tiger Gregory is businessman. Shemanetchko. It was bitter. Oh, my God. So people took matters into their own hands. So went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. 
It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gang goose now, huh? Us mocks just have each other's back. We look out Nawet for one another. You're looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up? Ja chyba wiem, w którym gangu się zatrzymam. Mocks and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here. Oh, contrary. This is an ecosystem. Oh, to będzie wyścig. Shiv, corporations and drifters. Ale ja już wiem, w którym gangu się więcej zatrzymam. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. Valentinos Vigrao. Nice. This family will go to hell and back. Oh, Erika, hello. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Żona pierwsza doskakuje. No i dobra. Thank you so much for joining us. I have personally been really excited to give people a closer look at the gangs. We've shown a little bit on Twitter, but their styles are so distinct. Yes, I enjoyed them a lot as well in our game. I think they're very cool. But let's start then with the kind of role that they play, because gangs really do play a prominent role in Night City, correct? Yes, definitely. The gangs, they rule the streets of Night City. You know, they have the newest cyber, they have the newest weaponry, and they are really a power that everyone needs to take into account when they are thinking of operating in Night City. You will encounter them as you explore the city, of course, but also as you complete main quests, side quests, uh, different jobs for the, for the fixers. Uh, sometimes you might even get hired by them. But then, I suppose everybody's thinking then, can you join a gang? Well, V is a merc, and mercs of Night City are this unique, distinct group that stick mostly to themselves, right? And they get jobs from variety of factions. They can get jobs from corporations, they can get jobs from gangs, they can get jobs from uh, different kind of like influential clients. Because of this, nobody will ever trust a merc to be one of them, right? So, and the gangs are no exception here. They are looking only for like people that they know will be loyal to them, right? And that they will fight for their cause all of the time, not just some of the times when it's profitable to them. So because of this, V will mostly stick to the afterlife. And the afterlife are this group of mercs, this legendary group of mercenaries in Night City. They get the best jobs, they get the most money, the best clients and so on. So if you want to become a legend in Night City, you are going to the afterlife. So we've obviously mentioned life. the distinct style then, so does that mean there are kind of special gang themed weapons and items and clothing for players to find and use? Yes, definitely. There are different vehicles that you can drive, for example. There are cars, there are motorbikes, um, then of course there are different uh, pieces of clothing uh, themed after gangs, uh, there are weapons and so on. So yeah, definitely there are things to look forward to. I suppose as somebody who spent as much time as you have kind of getting to know the gangs, I have to ask, which is your favorite and why? <laughs> so I would have to say probably Maelstrom, uh, simply because they have this unique distinct feel uh, and this weird aesthetic about them. So the idea about Maelstrom is no, to jest ciekawe, jak people oni są who want to cross that, the boundary between the machine and human, right? They are changing so much of their body with cyberware that they no longer look human, really. On top of that, they are also very unpredictable. Uh, it's very no, difficult to see <laughs> what they will do at any point when you meet them. Uh, at one moment, they can be shaking hands with you, and at the other moment, no, you know, they can run, run, run out on you, and they bring in this element of chaos into the game, which I really enjoy personally. Oh, Matty, thank you so much for joining us. It's always interesting to learn what uh, your favorite gang is. I think it kind of tells me a little bit about you. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> what does it say about me? <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. Uh, but for now, before we wrap up today's episode, we asked people to show us their creativity and design a PC case mod, cyberpunk style. Our panel of judges selected oh. five finalists and we teamed them up with professional case modders to bring their concept to reality. A PC case mode, zarąbiste. To jest up your PC contest final. These five amazing designs will be fighting for the main prize, an Alienware Aurora PC along with other awesome gaming peripherals. Brought to you by our partners, Alienware, Nvidia and SteelSeries. 
Let's see the mods. Ale petarda. I absolutely love this one. Ten to w ogóle. The whole aesthetic works with each other. Absolutely next level. Honestly, kind of terrifying. Aż, słuchajcie, włosy mi stają na rękach. Zarobiste. Exactly the type of thing I would expect to find at a trade show. It really looks like it could have come straight out of the game. Genius. To się rusza. Kup to. Chciałbym. Wyprowadzam na spacer. Looking at those PC case mods, it reminds me that we do have one more thing to reveal. If you're going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077 on PC when it launches this November, we do have some specs to share that I think some of you have been waiting for. Specifications. Oh. Are Windows 7 or 10 PC, an Intel Core i5 3570K or AMD FX 8310. Małe, nisko, nisko. And an Nvidia GeForce GTX 780 or an AMD Radeon RX 470. The game will take up roughly 70 gigs of space, and although it will run off a HDD, we do recommend an SSD. As for the recommended specs, you're in the green. Was it recommended? I'm interested. An Intel Core i7 4790 or AMD. Ale niskie wymagania rekomendowane w ogóle. What the hell? 12 gigs of RAM and an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1060. Ale karta graficzna jest mocna potrzebna. SSD 70 giga. Jestem na to gotowy. Don't forget that if you've missed anything or if you just want to watch again, we will be uploading everything to our channels shortly, and we will be back soon with episode four. Yes, I'm going to episode four. Okay. Thank you for watching. It's cool, ne? And we'll see you in the next episode of Night City Wire, or in the next episode of something else. Bye bye.